Well, it's the second to last day of the LCS Summer Split with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Jan, who has told me that's how his name is pronounced. There was a person in my Twitch chat that was saying that it wasn't supposed to be pronounced Jan. You've told me that originally it wasn't supposed to be, but now everyone says it, so that's how you use it. Yeah, pretty much. All right. There you go. I don't know if they're going to watch this video, but maybe, <laughs> maybe they will to see if I just said it wrong. Either way, we are watching Golden Guardians versus Dignitas. It's uh, close to five minutes. It's 4.53 and 4.54 for Drew, who has to edit and sync this all up. Uh, and I guess what I will ask you is, what do you think of the draft? Um, I think Golden Guardians are just doing like an experiment draft, if anything. Because you th they're locked, do you think? So they're yeah. just like... I feel like they haven't like tried these comps that much, especially they have like Huhi on like a. I think they typically have like Huhi River on a more of like an engaged tanker. Typically, yeah. they did play Kindred sometimes, but I do think an experiment. I believe that I would rather play the. Honestly, both sides are pretty evenly matched, in my opinion. Okay, so you think this is even draft? Yeah, it's a pretty even match for me. All right, I would say. Let's talk a little bit about Team Liquid. Uh, you guys were on a tear. And then things started to slide, I feel like. Uh, lost today's game just now against Evil Geniuses. What, what, is what do you attribute to the slide recently? The first slide or just like in general? In ge no, like in general. Mm -hmm. Well, I just mean like today. and Because yeah. okay. you, I, you lost. Am I going crazy? Did you, you won yesterday? You lost yesterday. We won yesterday. You won yesterday. Right? Okay. Even I, I can't know. remember. Drew, did they win? Did they lose? We should have won. You should have won. We should have won. Okay. Actually, you like re you I, rewrote I it in anymore. your brain to what be. Maybe I'm gaslighting you when no, you. No, no. I'm pretty sure. Wait, no, today's. Yes. Oh, they, you guys lost against Golden Guardians? All right, okay. You so lost yeah, against Golden the Guardians first, today. We won the first day, lost the second day. Uh, lost the day. Well, there's only been two days. Oh, wait. Oh yeah, I'm completely dizzy. Sorry. Yes. I'm like, okay, so yeah. You lost, lost to Golden lost, Guardians lost yesterday. Lost Golden Guardians yesterday. Okay. You lost today. Right. And then we have another game tomorrow. I forgot. Oh god. I thought yes. today was a third day for some reason. No. I'm so out of it. Man, I do these interviews and I am always like, I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna look like an idiot if I <laughs> get it wrong because I'm not gonna make an edit. You know, people could just see the real Travis and then. <laughs> Something like that happens. Okay, I'm, I'm also like, oh, completely dizzy. You were literally in the game, and you yeah. don't remember, and you don't know what day it is. So, yeah. uh, do you do you attribute your lack of mental awareness to your recent losses? Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so what what are what are causing these losses? If so, you could remember yesterday's for game. the Golden Guardians match, I think we were just too. The way we picked our champions, the way we like actually played was like a bit too passive. Yeah. We had like a lot of opportunities, even though like the mid situation happened. We could have like done more proactive plays, even though we didn't. Typically we do like that wasn't like a typical TL loss, I would say. Most games we would like get in a really good big lead and then we would like maybe throw or like do something. Yeah, mid -game or we would just yeah. win the game, throw, win the game or something. But I think that day was like one of the first days we were like in a complete disadvantage for like most of the game without us doing something proactive. So I think it was our mindset for the most part. Gotcha. For yesterday's games. All right. So mindset for yesterday and then today? Today, I think we just didn't play well. Yeah. I think it was just like complete like we weren't listening to each other. We didn't play the way our comp should be played yeah. kind of thing. Especially because we don't do like front to back that often or like those kind of champions. Yeah. Where, where do you think where do you think TL is? Because I feel like last week, after last week, because I think you'd been on a tear that ended – this week, but I think there were some people that were like, is Team Liquid just like the best team in the league all of a sudden? <laughs> and I I guess I'm just wondering, you know, where do you perceive the team to be? I actually think most teams are just like very flippy and it's just whoever plays better during the week. I think most teams or most people just think like we're either the best team or the worst team at, at the moment, yeah. like per week by week. Like I'm pretty sure most people just think, oh yeah, Team Liquid is so good, and then randomly Team Liquid is actually like one of the bottom tier teams. Yeah, I actually think that way for like most teams as well right now. Oh really? Yeah, I actually think both teams are just as inconsistent. Maybe not Golden Guardians. Yeah, they've been consistently like pretty doing pretty well. I mean, they haven't been more consistent than Cloud Nine, right? Because like Cloud Nine and GG are basically tied. Yeah, but I think Cloud Nine had a pretty good start to yeah. the season, and then they like towards the end they were also like falling off a bit. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I so think Cloud Nine and Golden Guardians are definitely the top teams, but a lot of teams are just like 
doing really well than just bouncing back down all of a sudden. While we're talking about Golden Guardians and Cloud9, because this is something I've been bringing up with a lot of people, MVP voting, all star, all pro voting is uh, coming up next week. Uh, or I think actually it starts after tomorrow we can start submitting. And I, I'm i curious if you think there's a clear MVP candidate. For every role? Uh, no, no, just that, that would be all pro, but like MVP, uh, like most valuable player. I actually don't know. I would assume it'd be someone from the Golden Guardians roster. Most Interesting. People, I, I, I was looking at some things on like Twitter, and then I see that most people are saying that River would be like the MVP. Not Where did sure. you see this on Twitter? I don't know. It was either Twitter or Reddit. Okay. I... So what's fascinating is we did Hotline League this week and everybody was saying like, oh yeah, it's probably still either JoJo or Blabber. If It basically would come down to like if JoJo can just like show up and if C9 still looks wonky this week. Yeah. But talking to a ton of people, I feel like there's suddenly a surge in conversation around River. Mm. And so, I, why do you, why would you say River? I, or I guess you're saying I, you see this. I, I just saw it like once. I was like, oh, it was okay. like the first time I actually saw like the talks yeah. of the MVP. If anything, gotcha. Yeah. So I am interviewing you and trying to get your opinion okay, on this, opinion. Sure, sure. and okay. you're telling me my, other people's sorry, opinions. Sorry. I did say that was the first thing I saw. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. So okay, so my opinion is, I think, I don't know. I feel like every player has been like either really good or really bad at some point of the weeks, including myself. So it's hard to say. If I had to give it. How does MVP actually work? Like, what is like the? It it is intentionally like if you're asking how the voting works, oh, like you place is, one, two, three. What is what is like the there? It biggest is unclear. thing that they look for. Oh, it's it's unclear. unclear. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Unclear? It's just like who do you think is MVP? And then you know, like you, there's. It's not like this is defined by which team yeah. players look most. Consistent. I think it would be JoJo or River. I think they give the most to their team. Okay, especially JoJo because it's like. I do think he's been playing like really like up and down recently. Yeah. Because a lot of people just play through mid and against him and just like camp him. But if I had to give like the one who gives the most to his team, it would probably be Joe Dupin. Okay. Even though he's been like, obviously he, he looked really strong at the beginning of the split Mm -hmm. and now things he's looked more shaky recently, but you still feel like that. Yeah. I would just, the way I give MP would be like, whoever gives the most to their team. Gotcha. So like for C9, I would say like Berserker gave a lot to their team in the spring slit. Yeah. So the the challenge with that one is, do you think there's a world where like you, it actually is always easier to become MVP on a team of people that are like the, the C9 thing, right? Everybody mm-hmm. is really good on that team is, yeah. is the way most people perceive it. Right. And so then it's really hard for any single player on that team to ever get MVP by your metric. Yeah. Because, like everybody's like firing off no one's like hard caring right whereas uh, so so it's like harder even if you're a really good player on a team like c9 to get mvp versus eg where uh, jojo is by far and away the best player on that team right yeah so i don't know if you have any no that's, that's pretty much spot on especially in like a, there was like one like mvp voting system in academy as well yeah like where they gave up the mvps or like who's the most valuable like prospect sure i also thought it was like the same thing like if five players on one team is strong, like all individually pretty strong, then it'll be hard for that one team to like, be like, oh yeah, this player is like completely standing out. Yeah. It's hard to stand out when all players are good. That Then the team just stands out at that yeah. point. How, sh- switching gears a little bit and going back to TL, how has it been playing with APA? Because it does feel like he came onto the team and the whole five players of you were just like revitalized. And I don't know if it's one of those things where like sometimes when a team is like struggling, you just like replace one thing. Somebody gets a haircut and it's like, (laughs) Oh my God, we're a completely different team now. Or if it's literally a thing where like somehow he has come in and it's just like snapped and everything's working. Um, I would say individually APA played really well. Yeah. If anything. So that's like one of the biggest things that came out individually. He played like his role, even though he can't communicate, he's like, it might be better for him that he doesn't communicate because he's just like focusing on his own play. Yes. So you guys are still speaking Korean. Yeah. And then when we talk to him, we just speak in English. Okay. That has got to be so fucking bizarre. I mean, yeah. I interviewed him before and and we he kind of was polite about it. Uh, and so maybe he, he just didn't want. But like, I got to imagine it's so weird. You're like in this competitive game. You're trying to figure stuff out. 
everybody around you is speaking a language you don't understand. And you're yeah, just like, I mean, well, they'll let me know if I need to do anything. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'll kill some minions and, you know. It's definitely hard. That's why I have, like, a respect for him for, like, individual-wise. Yeah. He must, he, he actually stood out individually really well. Yeah. Especially in the games. So, yeah. And also, because he's individually well, he's just, like, doing his own thing. There was no, was there any conversation about, should we try English? Um, there was definitely conversations like how how should we go about this? Like yeah. even even now we just go about like how should we say what we want to do here? Like if we yeah. have like a strategy we want to use in the game, then we just like use a specific like English term code word. Yeah, like a code word. Like it looks like you click it and you're, then it's like you're like Bandit Five, Bandit <laughs> Five, and then you guys all start moving around. Yeah, pretty pretty much that. It's <laughs> okay. like that's crazy. Uh, does that? I've, I need to go back and listen to your the com videos and see if those because you. I think you guys release com videos, right? Do Maybe we? you don't. Maybe you don't because they're in. No, no, we definitely do a little Drew, bit. But I don't Drew know if they showed too. like the English part yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah, it would just be funny if it's like, yeah, these code words are popping up. Uh, all right, so uh, it's good to hear that he. So it just sounds like you're saying it's just the fact that he's a good player that's really what's helped the team the most. Um. Well, in terms of API, I was like talking about how API is. Yeah. What revitalized the team was probably just like. I think we were playing okay, but we just couldn't like cross the finish line. Yeah. Because we were making a lot of simple mistakes. And so he's just like the, the the little bit that gets you there. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. That's cool. Uh, they don't release com videos. What? They don't release com videos. They do not release com videos. We have like some comms in the in our squad videos, in but like squad. it's not full. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can go look at squad and and see what's up uh, for those those little clips. Uh, by the way, who and how do those those videos that you guys have where you are walking into the arena and you always do like a skit. Uh, what, who, what are those? What's the story behind those? Um, our content producer, like Ben and Evan yeah, has just like, have been giving us like ideas and what they want to do. So we just do whatever they kind of like have like the vibe for. Yeah. So they've just been coming with content ideas ever since like the first week. Gotcha. And are, was there ever a point in time where you guys were like, this is weird or stupid? Because I know pro players like to just be like, yo, yo this is kind of cringe. It, it's more like, oh, wow, this is really funny or this is really okay. cool. And then sometimes it's like, oh, this one's not as cool, but it's like fun, funny. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. And do you give that feedback to them? You're like, mm, yeah, no, it's. I think you could do better next no, time, Ben. We're, so we're doing something, so that's good. Okay. Okay. But like for today, I was like, oh, shit. C9 beat TSM in 20 minutes. Do we have time to do this? And oh. then I was like, we're just waiting. I was like, ah. Oh. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Just do it fast. This was the Barbie Oppenheimer one. Yeah. yeah. So it, okay. Because they ended so fast, we yeah. were like, I was like, oh, I kind of don't want to do it, but like, let's just do it. Do those take a lot of setup? Uh, no, it's not not too long. It's just okay. like ten minutes or so. Ten minutes? Ten seven ten minutes? Those? Th- how many times are you retaking them? It looks like because it's they, they're like ten seconds. Um, it also has to do f- to the fact that we like wait there a little bit just because okay. sometimes we're faster than them. Sometimes oh, right. Than us. I, it's Riot that's coming out and filming them. Oh, right? no. Yeah, they're already outside. It's like okay. the car, like sometimes we're faster than the car that the content producers are. Gotcha. In okay. Are, yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, do you, is there one of those that's a favorite for you over the course of the split? Mm. The most fun I had was just the first one. I just smashed them, smashed the, the TSM one where I just smashed yeah. the ball into the hoop. The hoop, yes. Yeah. Quick and easy. Yeah. It's funny. All right. Very good. And then it's all downhill after that one, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I just you, had the most fun because it was quick and easy. Slam. Yeah, yeah, It's nice impactful. Least amount of work. Least um, amount of work, pretty much. Which, uh, what do you think of this game now that we're we're a little bit way into it? Well, judging from our game, Kaisa is winning again. Yeah. Kaisa might be a bit strong. Kaisa seems <laughs> good. That's like a, uh, a frequent conversation I've been having in these interviews. Yeah. The thing about Varus is I don't like it too much, especially the poking one. I, I think feel it's like it's Varus, by the way. Sorry, Var- Varus. You, you almost said it again. My bad. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I don't like the champion too much. Okay. You could say Varus. I don't like the champion too much. Oh yeah, I- interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you just don't you don't think he's good? I think he's good in like the right situation, but it's hard to pick him, especially because he he doesn't scale too well compared to AP Kaisa. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of Rel? Because Kelsey Moser, I just interviewed her before this, and she was saying she's like a big Rel fan. Rel seems really strong. Yeah. But it's does not def- compensate for the Varus. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. It's like the Kaiser Rel is really strong, but Rel has to be like, you have to 
be able to kill someone when you go in on rail, but it doesn't seem like they can do anything, you know? Yeah. It seems like they're more of a front to back comp. Yeah. That makes sense. What have you thought about Dig over the course of the split? Because I feel like they've been, I mean, they, they've slid definitely recently, which is the the Dig storyline every single split, but they, they're they definitely way better than they were last split, that's for sure. Yeah, I thought they were like one of the more like a control mage tank top into like hyper carry to carry. Yeah. One of the more one of those. Yeah, I, th- I thought they were more of that team, but then they just keep trying different things. So I was a bit surprised. Okay. I thought they would be like a hard team to face because they're like the. I actually find like control mages like Jensen, like the players like that, a bit hard to play against. But yeah. judging how like the meta is going, it's not that hard. Mm. So in a different meta, maybe they'd be better. Yeah. Or has the meta slipped away from them? Was I it more the, that at the start of the split? I think the meta slipped away from them a little bit, but it's still good. I just don't know what their problems are, honestly. Yeah. It seemed like they're like pretty like decent midway through the season, and then they started falling off. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. Even with like the support swap, like I don't think it made too much of a difference. Sure, sure. I mean, they it, if anything, it made a negative difference, right? Because I yeah. think they went zero three right afterwards. Or were something. they were they losing with diamond before that? Or I mean, they, they were swap? not doing great, but I don't know. I I need to check. I'm not sure if they had like a zero three yeah. weekend. But yeah, it didn't seem to really solve any of their issues. Yeah. All right. Well, anything you want to say to any of the fans at home who are watching this interview from the TGI Lounge? Thank you to the sponsors, Alienware. Well, this this video is sponsored by Alienware. Right? Yeah, it's double sponsored by oh, Alienware. Oh, double sponsored. Because I'm sponsored by Alienware, and this video is sponsored by Alienware, and then you're sponsored by Alienware. Yeah. Alienware and Honda, thank you. Yes, yeah. Thank and for you. the so, fans. Yep. No, sorry. You and got the, stuff for the sponsors, but not the fans. And for the fans, we will try to be a more, we will definitely try to be the strong version of our team in playoffs. What you said? Definitely try. Definitely right. try. We Why will definitely you, will be. Definitely yeah, will definitely be. Definitely will be. Definitely will try. be the stronger, stronger version of TL. There we go. That's the confidence that the fans need to hear. The confidence that was given by Travis Gafford. Yeah, there you go. And that, now, whenever you tear through playoffs, you'll know. I watched this, this video interview. back over yeah. and over. Yeah, exactly. It went from try to will. Yes, exactly. All right, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. LCS is here and so is my coverage and while you might think that most of what I do here is just interview people it's actually also about trying to impress people because reputation matters at the LCS you need to look stylish that's why right now I'm sporting my 720h headset available from Alienware but also the coolest thing that really helps me stand out from the crowd is walking into LCS with my new M18 featuring their new legend 3.0 design the anodized aluminum lid with the dark metallic moon finish is very cool and helps me stand out from the crowd. People know I'm the coolest when they see me with an Alienware notebook that has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 40 series GPU in it. So thank you so much to Alienware for sponsoring and helping me stay fashionable.